What's up guys, how's it going? Jedi Dog here. I uh, just got done watching the patch preview for 1.0.0.122 and I just uh, had a few thoughts and comments on uh, what we saw in the patch preview. Um, the trend ch the Trindamir changes look really interesting to me. I mean, I am uh, I love playing Trindamir, I love jungling my Trindamir. I think the uh, inclusion of the rage system in Trindamir's playstyle is going to be really interesting. I always found Trind as an interesting character because of how you had to manage his stacks, use them for either damage and crit or for healing with his Q um, and how key Keeping his uh, his rate or his uh, passive stacked would be uh, you know you could uh, gank better if you kept it stacked before you engaged or you could queue it for health in the middle of a fight but then you minimize your damage input or output. It's I'm gonna be really interested to see how this uh, works with Trindamir using the uh, rage bar and the rage system. Um, I'm also curious. Uh, I wonder if it'll make my uh, all attack speed rune page better for jungling because if you get a little bit of rage from every attack and not just crits. Uh, uh, you might be able to get a little more healing out of it. So I'll be interested to see how that works. Um, global alt changes for uh, Twisted Fate and Pantheon. A lot of people seem to be really upset about these, but um, I think it's I think it's moving forward for the game. I mean, saying that a champion has a global skill, kind of like these teleports, um, when they come out with Magma Chamber, it's going to change the game. I know a lot of people are mad about that too, but I like to think it's a work in progress um, and that it'll be coming in you know, any time now. But uh, but this you know this readies it for that. It makes it so that that will be balanced as well because being able to teleport anywhere on a bigger map, I mean, it makes the skill more powerful. It makes it you know. Um, so I'm gonna be. Um, it's gonna be really interesting. I mean, and you know some things. The Twisted Fate. Uh, the reveal is still global. So and as long as Twisted Fate's mid, it looks like he can still hit both side lanes anyway uh, from the range indicator I saw on the map, or at least get really close. And um. Another thing I thought I saw in the video is is Pantheon's uh, drop time reduced on his ultimate. I'm not a Pantheon player, so I couldn't tell you whether or not it's the same or whether they left it. Uh, they decreased it a little bit, but it looked it looked a little shorter than I remember. Um, one thing about these global uh, nerf, global alt nerfs, I'm glad that uh, they left Shen out of it because I think Shen really needs to be able to go to any of his teammates, regardless of how how far they how far away they are. I mean, Shen's already been hit with a lot of nerfs, and the shield on his ult is already. It's pretty weak still, I mean, in my opinion. I used to love playing Shen. I don't play him so much anymore. But um, but I'm glad that they left Shen out of this uh, n this uh, shenanigans. But uh, And then uh, the Galio changes. I thought those were really interesting. I mean, I like playing tanks. I like playing tanky DPS. I think it's good to see Galio getting some buffs, bringing him back into being viable but not ridiculously overpowered. Um, I think it's interesting that they're reducing his damage and bringing up his tankiness. So he's more of a tank. Unless of a tanky DPS, you know, maybe the AP builds and the damage builds won't be as good on him, but he'll be more viable in terms of soaking and initiating, which is what he should be doing in the first place. So I think that's, like, it's gonna be really interesting. It's gonna be good. So I'm excited for the patch. Can't wait to see it. Um, we'll see how it goes. You know, hopefully everything works out and it's a good patch and we can have fun with it. So, all right, catch you guys later.